Hi, this is Brad Schrock with Kitchland. You know that slightly obsessive guy you hear about all the time? Well, we're out here and we're going to talk about kitchen remodels. I'm out on a job site where George Zaris and the guys are doing a remodel, right guys? Right. So, George, this is affordable home improvement, right? I'm yeah, supposed to say that. Affordable home improvement. Sometimes. Okay, good. Well, anyhow, let's go over here. We're going to talk to him. We work with George pretty regular. And we're going to talk to you about, about things you shouldn't do in your kitchen. Well, one is, if you're putting down a tile floor, you have to remember that's going to raise the dishwasher. And if you can see the gap here, these guys, when they put down new flooring years ago, and you can tell by the floor it was years ago, that they had to build up the countertop here. And, of course, the green countertop shows that too. So keep that in mind. You know, guys, I think this kitchen might be worth saving. What do you think? Well, we'll, we'll save it for you. Oh, thanks. I don't think I want it in my house, but I guess that's why they're remodeling. But anyhow, if you look at corners here, look at this corner. Now, normally, we're going to take, take out the soffit, and if we weren't, we could put a corner cabinet in there that would match the soffit. And a diagonal corner cabinet is the best way to go in this kind of situation. But let's go over here and look. See, you open this door, and it's and you go back in there. You see way back in there, and it's Grandma's Beats from 1978 is what you find back there. So you don't want to do that if you can keep from doing it. And then again, this corner is better than most because it does, does open up all the way so you can get into the corner. But the door is kind of, you know, doesn't work real well. So you want to keep you want to keep that in mind that you want your doors to easy open and easy access. And definitely a double bowl sink. I don't know why they wouldn't have put a double bowl sink in there. So anyhow, and then this old cabinet used to be a 24-inch oven cabinet that they've added doors to. And, you know, it's one of those deals where where you want to go with a 30-inch cabinet. And I guess one of the guys here said, that, what's the plug for? <laughs> for their uh, warming plate that they want to put in the... Cabinet. Oh, the new warming plate. Right. Okay. So we'll get them a new cabinet so we can do all of that stuff to it. I think she's going to be really excited about her kitchen. What do you guys think? I told so. <laughs> Good. And then uh, the refrigerator will change this. And coming out 24 inches is always something I like to do, which they've done here. But then they put that cabinet way back in there where you can't reach it. Well, when you come out 24 inches, it allows you to get to that cabinet. See, I can reach this. I can't reach that. I'm a short guy. So anyhow, you've got that. And then the pantry, I don't know why they did this with the pantry. Probably to, fit, to change the soffit. And in this situation... I probably would have went out past the soffit and worked out with the molding on this. But the guys, you guys are taking out the soffit, aren't you? Yes, we are. The ceiling from one end to the other. You're taking out this beautiful ceiling? Yes, we are, unfortunately. Oh, man. That ceiling is good. Well, anyhow, I don't know. And we're going to take out the head knockers. And some of the guys were showing me here, head knockers are kind of out. And we, the reason we call them head knockers is because you open this door here like this, and you walk right into it, you know, just like that. George, you ever had that happen? All the time. <laughs> so we're going to take that out and open it up. And the other thing we're going to do, we're going to eliminate the peninsula here. Is that right, George? That's right. We're going to put an island in its place. Yep. And uh, the most requested piece in a kitchen is the island. Absolutely. So most people want an island if their kitchen, if they can get it worked in. And this kitchen is going to be a gorgeous, beautiful kitchen when we get done. Not that it isn't a gorgeous, beautiful kitchen now. But you're doing a whole lot of other stuff here too, aren't you, George? Yeah, we mentioned before, we're taking out the ceilings, we're replacing the floors with tiles, and just uh, redoing the entire main floor of the house. Yeah, well that looks good. So you can see the back of the bar here too, guys. You know, we'll, not very decorative, but we'll change that. We'll get rid of the scuffed up toe kick. And if we show you this kitchen after it's done, I think you guys are going to be excited to see what you can do. And here's another thing on a corner. See how this corner here, right here, you just there's no access to it really. You got you don't want those blind corners if you can keep from it. And on the stove here, they've got the stove on the end. And sometimes you can't move that because the oh plumbing or I'm sorry not plumbing but gas or electrical that you can't move, whatever it is. But you want to try and keep the stove from being on the end here because you know when you go to set the pot right here, it kind of falls off. So you want to have about 18 inches on both sides of the stove if possible. So I think that's it. Did I leave anything out, guys, that you need to cover? Anything we need to do to this kitchen besides that? No, we're ready to tear it out. Yeah, what kind of cabinets are we putting in there, George? We're going to put an oak cabinet in there. Cool. Schrock oak cabinet. Sounds yeah. good to me. All right. Here I am again. This is Brad Schrock, and I'm signing off. Send it out. Bye.
That was good.